Gaming channels receiving review copies is nothing new in the gaming industry, and has been a practice done for many years. Mudahar from Some Ordinary Gamers and Ranton released a video recently talking about the issues surrounding blacklists and YouTube game reviewers, specifically those that get free review copies. If you haven't seen their videos, I will link them down below so you can see what they have to say. They make a lot of strong points about corruption in the gaming industry and the conflict of interest between publishers and reviewers. While I agree with the majority of their video and support them for bringing awareness to the public, I do want to address one of the statements that was brought up. Their argument seems to be targeted towards more well-known reviewers with a large following who do this for a living. However, as someone who does occasionally produce sponsored review videos, this conversation relates to me too, so I wanted to offer my perspective even though I'm just a small channel in the sea of YouTube giants. One of their points puts into question the integrity of the reviewer. If you are financially connected with the people who manufacture the product you're reviewing, your credibility is gone. This comes from the fact that there have been many cases of companies blacklisting reviewers over negative reviews, and this is where the conflict of interest comes in. While companies don't outright say they want a good review to be written, their goal is to have positive publicity and get sales. That's not to say every company does this, but this possibility has an effect on a reviewer's thought process. However, I think being blacklisted is not always as simple as just writing a negative review. It's a complex process. While I agree that this situation is something to definitely be aware of, the integrity of a review shouldn't be completely disregarded just based on the fact a person received a review copy. I've put in a lot of work on all my reviews, whether I was given a review code or not, and to just have its validity dismissed is a huge slap in the face. And it's not like I only talk about the good parts of games either. I will criticize an aspect of a game if it's something I didn't like or take issue with, and try to explain it in such a way that other people can understand how I came to that conclusion. For instance, I would much rather say that a game's dungeon is bad because every dungeon uses the same assets without any variety, instead of just saying a game's hot burning trash, don't buy. Criticizing games is something I'm not afraid to do. I don't believe I'll get blacklisted for that, but maybe I'm just jinxing myself or being naive. I try to be as respectful as possible when reaching out and when producing my reviews. If I do get blacklisted, then I'll just move on and keep doing what I'm doing. I don't create reviews to sell people video games. I create reviews because gaming is my passion and I aim to create a space where I can talk about it. Kind of like how things were back in the day before the internet became a normal part of life when everybody would get together at someone's house to shoot the breeze about a game they just picked up or had been playing. At the end of the day, conflict of interest is something that everyone, including reviewers, should keep in mind. We all have people we trust when it comes to reviews, and even though we may not know that person, we listen to that person for a reason. It could be because there is a common interest, they have a great personality, or whatever. Gaming companies do have a lot of influence over what we see, and all we can really do is look at the information we're given, and make the best decision for ourselves. Is this reviewer being legit, or is he being sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends? Don't discredit reviewers solely because they got a free review copy. Instead, form your own opinions on a case-by-case -case basis. I'm proud of the work I do, and I want to maintain my integrity even when I receive a review copy. As someone who makes sponsored reviews, I will meet Ranton halfway on one of his suggestions and label my videos as sponsored in the title when applicable. This is a real issue, and I want to do my part in making things better.